Hello everyone, welcome to today's Excel tutorial. Today, we're diving into one of Excel's most powerful financial tools, the rate function. Whether you're calculating loan interest, planning investments, or analyzing retirement savings, mastering rate will save you time and headaches. In this video, I'll walk you through to brand new examples, step by step, with detailed tables and troubleshooting tips. Let's get started. Before we jump into examples, let's break down what rate does. Simply put, rate calculates the interest rate per period for a loan or investment based on fixed payments and a constant interest rate. It's perfect for answering questions like, what's the interest rate on my car loan? What return will I earn on this investment? The syntax is, equals rate in PUR, PMT, PV, FE, type, guess, and per, total number of payment periods. PMT, payment per period must be consistent. PV, present value for example loan amount. FE, future value optional, defaults to zero. Type, zero payments at period end or one payments at start. Guess, initial estimate for the rate optional eight. Now, let's apply this to real world scenarios. Let's start with a scenario many of you can relate to, student loans. Imagine you borrowed 25,000 to finance your education and you're repaying it over 10 years with monthly payments of 275, but here's the catch your lender never clearly disclosed the interest rate. Let's uncover it using the rate function. In cell A2, type 25,000. This is your loan amount PV, the money you received upfront. In cell B2, type minus 275. The negative sign indicates this is a cash outflow money leaving your pocket each month. In cell C2, type 10 asterisk 12. This converts the 10-year term into 120 monthly periods and per. In cell D2, type equals rate C2, B2, A2. Notice we omit F the future value because the loan is fully repaid after 10 years if B equals 0. Press enter. You'll see a decimal like 0.048. This is your monthly interest rate 0.45%. In cell E2, type equals D to asterisk 12 to convert the monthly rate to an annual rate. This isn't just math, it's financial empowerment. Knowing your true interest rate helps you compare loans, refinance smarter, or even negotiate better terms. Next, let's play real estate investor. Suppose you buy a rental property for 200,000. You'll earn 200,000. You'll earn 2,000 monthly rent for 15 years, and then sell it for $300,000. What's your annual return? Let's crunch the numbers. In cell A3, type minus 200,000. The negative sign reflects your initial investment PV. In cell B3, type 2000. This is your monthly income positive because it's cash inflow. In cell C3, type 15 asterisk 12 and it means 180 months emper. In cell D3, type 300,000. This is the future value FV when you sell the property. In cell E3, type equals rate C3, B3, A3, D3. FVD3 is positive because selling the property adds cash. PMTB3 is positive rental income. PVA3 is negative year upfront cost. Press enter, 1% monthly return. In cell F3, type equals E3 asterisk 12 and 13.08% annual return. And there you have it. With the rate function, you're now equipped to decode loans, investments, and leases like a pro. Try these examples with your own numbers and let Excel do the heavy lifting. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more Excel magic. Drop your questions below I'll answer them all. Thanks for watching.